Put your hands up high, please. I shaved myself from the neck down, like a dolphin. So You're there's literally nothing that sticks onto my flesh. No, the, the only thing you're gonna feel So is I shaved my chest for, for no good reason. Is there a safe word? Can I have a safe word? What would you like the safe word to be? Avocado. Avocado? Dressed as one today. Is your name Jack Whitehall? My name is Jack Whitehall. Are you a comedian? I am a comedian, although recently I've been trying to be an actor. How's that going for you? I think people will still see me as a comedian. Are you about to take a polygraph exam? I'm about to take a polygraph exam. Are you nervous? I am a little nervous. Why? Um, I think it's the dark room, the setup, being strapped to a chair. No, none of it really feels very natural. We are going to start with your career. Do you think you're funny? I think I am funny, but it sort of depends on the room. Like this setup, I would say, is what a comedian might describe as a tough crowd. Can you tell me a joke? Uh, well, we're talking about my career. I think that is a bit of a joke in itself. Who is the funniest person you ever met? Jim Carrey. He's one of my comedy heroes. I met him. John Cleese. Do you think you're funnier than them? No. Nope. You hosted the Brit Awards in 2020. I did. Have you ever considered becoming a late night host? I have not considered becoming a late night host. Do you think you'd be a better host than this man? Oh, no. No, I do not think I would be a better late night host. He's not being completely truthful. Maybe I would be a better late night host. <laughs> I'm gonna go on his show in a week. No, I, he's, he's great. He's, and I would not be as good as him. That was the bit of this that I've liked the least thus far. Is it true you auditioned for Harry Potter in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? That is true, but I did not get the role. They chose Emma Watson. Do you remember what line you had to read at your audition? Oh, I don't know. Let me out from under the stairs. That was the scene, wasn't it, in the first one? He gets locked in the cup. Oh no, sorry, I'm just having a childhood memory. Why didn't you get the role? I didn't get the role because I was a lousy actor as a child. I mean, some may say I'm a lousy actor as an adult as well, but as a child, I was definitely pretty bad. I didn't read the book, that is correct. You know, that one was always gonna get made into a film, so I may as well have just waited to see the film. That was my approach to it. But then I got the audition to actually be in the film, which is kind of like a catch-22, another book that I haven't read. Do you regret not reading it before? I do regret it. It was an error. Clifford the Big Red Dog, read that one. Yeah. You found out your character was cut from Frozen. Are you still bitter? No. I'm not, I'm not bitter about it. I've let it go. Yes, he's telling the truth. Did you get that, Jake? Excuse me? Let it go. This is let uh, it go. I got it. Okay. That's just an, a sort of, he's an, an inward laugher. You've talked about how you feel you bombed at Prince Charles' Christmas party. Yes. Did you consider yourself a failure in the eyes of the British Empire? <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, I do. I, again, that was another example of tough crowd. I told him that I'd been at school with Kate Middleton and that I'd considered her the one that got away, and that did not play well in that room, and then commended Harry on his bravery in Afghanistan. Unfortunately, followed that up by saying that his bravery in my eyes had been that a ginger had been in that heat for that amount of time and that that was something that he should be commended for. Thank you, Judd. Did you like the royal family before that set? I did like the royal family, yes. Do you think they have a good sense of humor? Yes, I think they do. He's not telling the truth. Okay, no, maybe they don't because they didn't really laugh. He told me afterwards, Prince Charles, that I was funnier than the contortionist that they'd had the year before at their Christmas party, so. Let's move on to your life. You dropped out of the University of Manchester. Whoa, starting there. None of the bit before when I was at school and didn't drop out. 
This is going to go straight for the... Okay. Were your parents happy about that? No. Was that the first time you disappointed them? That was not the first time that I disappointed them. When did you really disappoint them? Uh, when I flunked my exams when I was younger. And also my failure to really take off as a child actor. I think that upset them. When you were in school, did you ever cheat on a test? I did cheat on a test, yes. So you were caught? I wasn't caught, but it, I unsuccessfully cheated. I wrote down all of the answers on my inner thighs and then went to the bathroom halfway through the exam. And then when I pulled down my trousers, I'd sweated so much that it had all smudged. So I didn't have any of the answers written there. I just had Smurf legs. Sorry, but as I oversharing. Who's your favorite Smurf? Papa Smurf. Yes, he's telling the truth. You have one sister and one brother. That I know of, yes. But my father was quite prolific in the 1970s and 80s, so there may be more out there. Do you know who your parents' favorite child is? Yes. It's my sister. Do you think one day you could be your parents' favorite? If I bear them an heir. How's it going? Not great, to be honest. Um, some attempts have been made, but thus far. Well, not, I mean, I'm not trying to have a child, but I mean, I have done the thing that leads to that. But just never, I, I regret going this far with this answer. <laughs> yeah, he's telling the truth. Yeah, it's just confirmation that <laughs> I'm not a virgin. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. <laughs> Your brother's name is Barnaby and your middle name is Benedict. Is it possible to be too British? <laughs> yes, I think it may be possible to be too British. Do you often complain that you can't get a decent cup of tea in the US? I do complain that I can't get a decent cup of tea in the US, but I travel with tea. What kind of tea? PG Tips or Yorkshire tea. And I pack it with me in my bag wherever I go. And Marmite, although Marmite technically are not meant to bring it to the US, so I have to smuggle that. So you're a smuggler? I would say that is the only time I've ever broken the law, is smuggling Marmite across the border. Sorry. Yes, he's telling the truth. I don't put it in my bag, though. How do you travel with it? In nature's pocket. Is the stereotype that British people have bad teeth offensive to you? It is not, because I think I have quite good teeth for a Brit. My father likes to remind me that he spent thousands of pounds on my orthodontistry. I actually went to the same orthodontist as Prince Harry and Prince William. Impressive. Perfectly straight. You travel the world with this man? Yes. It was Voldemort from Harry Potter, right? Oh no, sorry. My father, yes. Do you enjoy traveling with your father? Mm -hmm. Yes. He's not telling the truth there. Mm. Did you ever just want to leave him at the airport? <laughs> oh yes, on occasion I have felt like I'd like to leave him at the airport. Do you consider yourself someone with daddy issues? Yes, I am probably the poster boy for daddy issues. One of your favorite books is Love, Sex, and Other Foreign Policy Goals. Which are you better at, love, sex, or foreign policy? Love. Jack, we know you're lying. Sex. Speak up. Sex, yes. He's telling the truth. I'm a very, very um, compassionate, generous, and successful lovemaker. You're a lifelong Arsenal fan. I am. Do you think Arsenal has a chance of winning the Premier League this year? Not a hope in hell. Have you lost faith in your team? I have lost faith in my team, but it's the best way to support them. It's the hope that kills you. Do you think you would be a better team owner than these men? I think I would not be as good a team owner as these gentlemen, because I would not, at this stage of my life, have quite as much financial clout. Jack, do you think you dress well? I think I dress well when assisted. When unassisted, there have been some errors of judgment. I will share with you this. On holiday, 
I like to rock out with my crock out. Now let's move on to pop culture. Do you think you would make a better Batman than no, this man? Oh, I do not think I would be a better Batman than this man. I've always thought like my best acting is from here up rather than there. Like that's, this is where it works for me. And then that is problematic because I've got a weak chin, hence the beard and the turtleneck. He's very good like there. In fact, the perfect actor might be him from there down and me from there up. Do you still have beef with Robert Pattinson? I have laid that to rest. I respect him. And, you know, we're both doing our thing. It was pointed out to me by maybe a hundred people on Twitter that on the day that Robert Pattinson's uh, Batman trailer was launched, uh, the trailer for Clifford the Big Red Dog was launched, a trailer in which Clifford the Big Red Dog urinates on me. And a lot of people commented on Twitter about that. And I think they were commenting on the fact that we're both doing great. Funny little coincidence. But I'm not, I'm happy for him. That's not true. Okay, it's not true. Don't you think it's time to move on? It is probably time to move on. And there's so many other actors that they could move on to. Oh, you meant move on. Sorry, I thought you meant the, D the DC universe. It is probably time to move on. Can you give us your best Batman voice? Um, where is she? That was not hit, that's the Christian Bale. You interviewed Lizzo at the Brit Awards. I did. Do you think this man has a shot with her? Yeah. Hell yeah. Do you think he's better looking than you? Yeah, I think he probably is. He's sort of what I would look like if I went to the gym and drank less wine. Have you ever gone to a gym? I have. Once. It was a lovely experience. Also at the Bird Awards, you took a sip of Harry Styles' drink. I did. You claimed it to be straight tequila. Was that true? It was straight tequila. Do people usually get extremely drunk at award shows? In Britain, yes. You also told Harry Styles that One Direction's up all night is your Sergeant Pepper. Was that true? That is not true. Then why did you say it? Because I was trying to endear myself to him. Because I admire him. Do you have a favorite member of One Direction? Yes. Little Niall. The wee fella with the bland hair. I think you sort of love Niall because you look at him and you think, it's great. Anyone could do this if they applied themselves. Have you applied yourself? No. But I sort of look at Niall and I think, if I wanted to be in a boy band, I probably could. And I think he gives that hope to millions. Did Zane leaving the band ruin everything? Yes, it did. That was the beginning of the end. Do you enjoy the music of this person? I do enjoy the music of Dua Lipa. How would you describe your friendship with her? Um, I've given her many awards at the Brits. She's been the dominant force during my tenure as the host of the Brit Awards. Have you heard the rumor that you two were once more than friends? I have not heard such a rumor, but I did at one point express feelings towards her father, who is literally the hottest dad I've ever seen. I have dad envy of this lady here. So more daddy issues? Yeah. Yes. Or well, maybe that's why. How's the heart right now? Going fast. Going fast, yeah. We're almost, we're almost there. Yeah. Final question. Final question. At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? Yes. Obviously, it's Harry Styles. No one's favorite is Niall. Not even Niall. I just feel bad because I always throw him under the bus and everything. We nearly got through an interview without me making jokes at his expense. And also, I just get absolutely fucking savaged by all of his fans whenever I do this. And so now this is gonna go out and it'll be again them trolling me for the next 10 days, probably with pictures of Robert Pattinson as Batman. Would you like to apologize? Yes, I'd like to apologize. I love Niall Horan. He's great. I respect him as an artist. Oh, no, no, I'm no, Josh, don't, don't, don't say anything. I'm not even going to comment on that <laughs> one. Don't even comment. <laughs>